Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, I'm Janetta, an author who loves to draw. On my channel, I focus on combining storytelling with art. If that's something you're interested in, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's get to it. A steady beat kept rhythm to Mara's heartbeat as she drifted into a drug-induced slumber. In her last moment of consciousness, she heard a voice say, I am here. In the heavenly realm, two angels hovered above Mara's hospital bed. Are you ready? They will come for her soon, the larger angel Micah asked the smaller angel Zoe. I am ready. Fueled by Mara's and her family's prayers, Zoe felt power flowing throughout her angelic body. Charged by God's power through prayer, Zoe was confident she would be able to protect her ward. Mara's mother was in the waiting room praying in that same moment her belly empty, having decided to fast as well. Then I leave you to it, as others have not been as blessed and may need my assistance, Micah said, spreading his majestic wings and flying off. Zoe heard his exit, but kept her eyes watching over the activities in the operating room. Outside of Mara, there were no other believers in the room, which meant Zoe was the only guardian angel hovering. A few of the operating staff had oppressed spirits attached to their souls, but none that were bold or strong enough to go against the guardian angel. It was the approaching darkness that she would have to engage in battle with, and if ever it even appeared that she was being defeated, those spirits would then try to join in the fight. As the surgeon opened Mara and began to work on her, Zoe spread her wings, flew over the operating table, and flipped over to face the ceiling. A large red beast burst through a portal in the ceiling, fangs and claws drawn and ready. Before he could reach her, Zoe clapped her powerful wings and blew it back through the portal. Almost instantly, two more beasts burst through from either side of the room. Zoe flew to the one to the right of her, grabbed it and spun it across the room into the other one on the opposite side of the room. When the first beast re-entered, Zoe reached behind her and pulled out the sword that she carried between her wings and went to work on the attacking beast. There were so few believers left in the world and Zoe refused to lose the one in her care. She fought and kept the enemy at bay until she heard one say, she is too full of the power of prayer. We cannot win today, retreat. As quickly as they had arrived, the beast left and Zoe secured her sword back between her wings. She reclaimed her post, watching as the surgeon finished operating and closed Mara up. Well, that couldn't have gone any better, he said, oblivious of the battle that had ensued in the spiritual realm. Get her to recovery while I go talk to her family. Ten minutes later, he walked into the waiting room and found Mara's family. The surgery went well, and as long as she takes care of herself, she should make a full recovery. Thank you, and more importantly, thank you, God. Mara's mother said, turning to hug Mara's father. When can we see her? Her father asked, holding his wife. Someone will come to get you soon and take you back to see her, the doctor promised before making his exit. 20 minutes later, as promised, Mara's parents were shown to her room. Unseen by them, Zoe hovered above them in the heavenly realm. She smiled because no longer was Mara the only believer in the room, and she was no longer the only guardian angel. Hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, be and stay blessed.